Oh, my hand fell asleep. Yeah. Who's sliding? <clears throat> this is not the video I thought that I was going to be making, but here we are. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hi, welcome to this video. If you are watching, it's either probably because you know me and I made you watch this video, or two, you are currently going down a randonautica rabbit hole like I was yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, while well, I was supposed to be, I don't know, checking off a long list of things I needed to accomplish, I decided to take a mini break that turned maybe into a massive break and watch some YouTube videos. Now, I don't know how the algorithm put these Randonautica videos in front of me because my usual lineup like consists of dogs chasing squirrels and like really slow cooking videos. I don't know, but it somehow knew that I needed this in my life. And once I dove into that rabbit hole, I just couldn't, couldn't be stopped. Randonautica is an app that uses quantum physics to generate these random points according to uh, the radius that you are comfortable with. And what you're supposed to do is set an intent and then that intent is supposed to materialize at these random points that you set. Like I know if this is the first time you're hearing this, you're like, hmm. I knew that I wanted to explore this app for myself. So as soon as my husband got home, because I wanted him to go on this adventure with me and to like, I didn't want to get murdered. I asked him if he would just go on an adventure. I didn't tell him anything about it because he's usually down for kind of like whatever, but he's also extremely logical. So if I started to like tell him that the universe was gonna like generate these random points and then we were gonna think something and then it was gonna appear. I didn't tell him until we got in the car what we were actually doing. Let's search. What would you like to get? Attractors are dense clusters of random points. Voids are the opposite. Anomalies are the strongest out of attractors and voids. Hmm. I don't really know what any of those mean. I feel like void sounds like not good, so maybe we go with attractors or anomalies. Attractors. Okay. Up to how many points would you like to look for? One, two, five, or ten? Five. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Look, we're already... <laughs> so we have to focus on an intent. I actually was already like thinking about this this afternoon and I think that what would be interesting is if we did something that was like really specific. So I was kind of thinking what if we did like uh, our intent is to see somebody we haven't seen in a while like somebody we know and they're wearing a hat. You like it? Okay so let's we have to like let's in, so think about that thought. <laughs> Let's like put our heads together or something. <laughs> so we're not thinking about it. Okay, shh. Think about it. Okay. Alright. Okay, it says it's 11 minutes. Okay, we're gonna go. So it was really strange the first place it took us to. So we were kind of confused and we made the turn a couple times. And then I thought to myself, well maybe we're supposed to be looking at the other cars. When we were on our way to the second stop, as it was taking us out, we were in our Jeep and it started kind of like rattling and making this weird noise. So we pulled over, got out, Scott took a look at it and we kind of decided like, we should probably take this thing home. Really, do you think there's a strong chance it'll take us to Chipotle? Okay. I think there's a pretty good chance. Yeah. I feel like if this thing is magic, then it's going to take us somewhere magical. AKA Chipotle. I really wanted to keep going, but I also was really hungry and didn't want to be gone very long. So I decided that maybe we get another car and we set just two locations this time 
and we change the distance so that it's a little bit smaller so that we aren't driving all over the place. The first place it took us was not the greatest area. Not sure if this game should be played in certain cities. So we abandoned that. Then we had one try left in this whole thing. As we were approaching, again, it looked like it was in the street, which is so strange because, I mean, ugh. So we got to the point, we pulled over for a second um, and we just sat there for probably about 15 seconds um, and we didn't really want to weird the people out that were in the house. This dog's like, what the hell are these people doing? <laughs> so we thought, okay, let's just make one block and you know, if nothing happens, great. We drove around for a little bit and we'll head home. There's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know him? It's Ashton. Are you kidding me? Are Wait, you kidding me? No! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! You have to go. go we have to go talk to him. Yes, I swear to God. We have to talk no. to him. Turn around. No. Turn around. No, we have to talk to him. That was crazy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You Wait. cannot say that this is... That this, that this wasn't... Hold on. You don't write this off. We're about to pull back into the spot and Scott sees this guy um, and this guy happens to have a hat on and so he's like, oh yeah, there's your boy. Like, there he is. And we're like, haha, okay, whatever. And he gets closer and Scott's like, oh, that's Ashton. And we're like, oh. We have to say, like, to the people, so they know we didn't just like make this up, that we saw somebody we know wearing a hat in almost the exact spot that the coordinates took us to. True story. Okay. It's true story. One thing that I loved is that it made me really observant and present for that entire hour and a half that we were driving around. I also love that this happened for us like we put an intent out there and it came true and even though i feel like there are quite a few things that i look back on in my life and i really feel like oh yeah totally manifested that one it helps to truly see it each time because sometimes i can start to lose sight of the fact that I create my own life and I create my own reality and it is up to me and I can change things around or I can make things more positive and it is cool to have that affirmation in such a real way. Also like don't do creepy things. Like we don't need any more creepy things in this world. You 14 year old on TikTok doing creepy things like let's just let's all agree that we shouldn't do that.